Yeah, let's go. On today's episode, we are in this stunning right-hand drive Pagani Huayra BC Coupe with the new Tempesta package being driven around Modena, Italy with Pagani's test driver, Simone Tarosi. What a way to experience my first drive in a Pagani. Very good. Suspension actually is soft. Quite, yeah. It's not like the, not um, that stiff. Racing car. Yeah. No, single clutch. You're going fast. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Clutch. When you change gear, are you letting off the accelerator or just no, no, just just pull? Yeah. When you do the testing, you don't go on motorway, is that freeway or strata? Sometimes. Sometimes. Well, sometimes. But yeah, I was worried that oh, it looked like dip or uncomfortable, but it's still smooth. Yeah, yeah. There we go. A drive in the Huayra BC. It's right hand drive. Ah, thank you to the owner. The Tempesta is it's like actually a, a big upgrade, isn't it? The Tempesta, it's a factory upgrade that we started offering right. last year in 2021. Yeah. It was, was pandemic. It's a very nice package to change a little bit, of course, the, the aerodynamic of the car as well as the performances. For the BC, this includes these new air convoyers. Here at the back, these two big lungs that you, you see at the back. This is a, a completely new element that, that you have with the Tempesta BC. The wing is, a, is completely new. Um, here at the back, you can also see the exhaust. It goes from the traditional four. Yeah, I just noticed we, on these ones is uh, you got the heat shields on these ones. Yeah, with the Tempesta, we add the two lower blown diffusers, which makes it even more exciting. And dedicated wheels, even at the front, they have a different size, a 10 inches width instead of a nine inches width. So you could just get a normal Huayra and get Tempesta. And get Tempesta or either you can get the Wara BC with the Tempesta BC dedicated pack. It's not the same package. If this one was a, a non-BC, what's the difference between the BC, what's the, what's the upgrade? With the upgrade. So a normal BC wouldn't have the same wing as this. Oh, okay. It would have only the four exhaust instead of the six way exhaust. You oh would... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got the quad and then you got the... Yes, these are uh, thanks to the Tempesta, yeah. to the Tempesta upgrade. These two big uh, convoyers, you don't, you don't have this in the regular car. At the front, there's a different uh, split up. In the interior, there's a different gear knob, which is just a little, is just a little touch. The knob normally is in uh, is a sandwich of wood and carbon fiber. This is like pure carbon fiber. We have this uh, soft mode button, which is also with a Tempesta, because we changed the suspension. These are uh, semi-active suspension, so we can also offer the super soft uh, button. Of course, when you have like some low low speed city ride, you can use the, the super soft button for 
for extra comfort. See also the, the wheels are dedicated, yeah. BC Tempesta. Actually, I remember there was a Huara BC that came to Sydney from Japan. It was actually from uh, Japan, the white with the blue stripes. I think it was oh, one of the first. Yes, yes, And yes. then it was a, I forgot the gentleman's name. He's Italian, he lives in Tokyo. The person who drove the car was uh, Suchia. Oh, yeah, yeah. The Drift King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Drift King drove the car. <laughs> You know, he drove it. Yeah, I remember that was the first time you know, they brought it to Australia for but for for a special event. For a special event. So Everyone this is the stuff. silver. Is it's like a liquid silver? Yes. This is a color from from our catalog. This one is probably the the London silver, mm. which is it's very bright in the sun. It gets very very dark in the no sun condition, and is combined with this uh, gold pinstripe which is matching of course also the wheels. The wheels has this um, is a diamond cut uh, finish where you have the, the silver spoke matching and, and the gold is matching the, the rest of the gold accents. All together is playing only with these three colors, the silver, the carbon and the and the gold, mm. which is a, a, very, a very good balance. When you go over like three colors, then it starts to be a very rich, I think, mm. configuration. Also like a vi visually very rich, I think. Almost and then here, it. you mostly have only the, the gear knob, which is this, here is in carbon fiber. Mm. On the regular BC would be look like dark wood as well as the, the super soft button. It doesn't come with a normal car. We, we can install it on the with a Tempesta because we changed also the suspensions. Mm. So total production numbers of of Huayra, how many how many were made total? In terms of Huayra, we made a hundred Huayra Coupe. Yeah. The, let's call it the, the, our regular production, if you can call it so. Twenty six uh, BC, another hundred Huayra Roadster, and forty Huayra Roadster BC. So there's more roadsters in the BC than in the, the BC. Then the coupe. Then the coupe. Yeah, because we find out that making only 26 cars in the BC we is more the upset client that we get than the happy ones. Mm. So we had to do a few more units to at least reach out <coughs> to a more global audience. Since we started from Waira, which was 2011, until now we, we've been growing our dealership network. Mm. Uh, the customer database is, uh, is growing every year. Uh, however, we try to, to control it because let's say the, bis the bottleneck or our strategy in a way is everything is limited. But mm. today it's a big market, so we acquire probably 10 to 20 new clients every year only. And that's why you have that waiting list growing. Yes, yeah. that's that's correct. And uh, these are Horatio's uh, guidelines. It doesn't want to go too, let's say, not mainstream, but it doesn't want to expand the, the production capacity too much because we still want to preserve all this quality that you see in these mm. cars. And that's why the Tempesta package, even though you're buying a Huayra that's a few years old, you can still join the family by buying a Absolutely. Uh, standard Huayra. <laughs> a standard Huayra, <laughs> if, you, if you can call it so, right? Yeah. Let's open this one too. You see, it's a different look from uh, from the regular car. Even the the engine, the anodization on the BC is all black. Mm. So that just gives you a visual idea that you're looking at the, at the BC. Here you can see all the exhaust is beautifully done. Also, it's all all hand welded and of course made only for for Pagani. The suspensions we can recognize them because they have the the blue springs, whereas the other ones are, are yellow. These are the semi-automatic tractive suspension where you can adjust your riding height and uh, of course the comfort of the car from the inside. And as I said, the exhaust, we we upgrade the exhaust from the from the four exhaust uh, system, the regular one, into a six-way system. You have the four plus the two blown valves. Thanks for watching another episode of DBTV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments on what you think of the Huayra BC. Also, special thanks to the owner of the Huayra BC for making this epic experience happen. I can't wait to see this work of art on the roads of Sydney. And lastly, gracias mille to Alberto and the team at Pagani for the hospitality. See you on the next episode. Actually, is there a relationship with the police here? Like if they say, oh yeah, yeah you're testing, uh, it's okay. Eh? Hey? <laughs> Less. <laughs> Depend. Because in Italy we have three, four departments of police, no? Uh, Comuna, regional, state, uh, police, depend. Yeah. Regional? Mm. Mm. Because they understand but, in this area there must yeah, be a lot of car companies. Yeah, yeah, but they understand us. Yeah. <laughs>